Morning everyone. Uh, morning here. Got this scudded the previous day and it's absolutely solid already. So it's good to go for the scratch coat. You can see it's, it's drying there in places. But um, yeah, I'm going to get our scratch coat on now. Um, get some, some clips of it going on. I'm going to try and get it all scratched and beaded today. But yeah, I just know how we get on here and get a couple of clips of scratch and stuff. Right, so I built this out here as uh, it wasn't wasn't very straight. Believe it or not, now we're getting rained on. Good. But yeah, just gonna scratch it at the corner and get the bead on and pull that in. So Quite right awkward at the top there, it goes under. There is acrylic going on these walls, so I'm trying to keep it nice and tidy along that top, just so no dirt falls down. When we're doing the colour coat. Just getting it on guys, this is 3 to 1, all the scud coat, again I have the scud coat in different videos, you can see how strong that is, you wouldn't want to put your knuckles in it, but yeah, this is quite high suction back there, so it's good to just scratch sections as you go, otherwise it will, will dry pretty quick on you. Okay, and any wee bits that are too ugly. You can just get them and I'll tidy up and just go later with them. So you're not having to scrape them all off when you're coming to your float coat. Scratching lovely. Yeah. So what the scratch does guys, that's gonna give you a key basically grip that will grip the next coat.
getting everything well soaked down here as if I don't it'll dry real real quick I have been wetting down the walls as we go but this one was on a bit longer than the rest so just getting it pretty well hydrated and you will find guys when you, you have your walls dampened down a bit that your stuff will, will apply that bit easier and you know you'll just have a, a bit of a, a an easier life and again just working through the beads here it's already been stuck on previous um, but very important not to go too far over the bead otherwise you'll not have a nice depth for your top coat or some of the bead bits might get in the way when you're coating for your top coat but yeah so the ratios of this one are three to one that's three sand one cement and there's a tiny little bit of SBR in and same there's some waterproofer and there is some motor mix as well and that'll or plasticizer whatever you want to call it um, but yeah you don't want to overdo it on on all them things you want to completely kill suction but you want to be able to control it um, but you also want the walls to be waterproof um, and again with the motor mix you want it to be workable so that it doesn't pull the arms out of you it's not too stiff and um, 3 to 1 is good and strong again our plaster and sand here is good and gritty it's a plaster and sand it is a type of sharp sand and you know to hear people thinking that it's a bit of a strong mix but I've never had any major major issues as my whole time blasting with the ratios that I do and the backgrounds that I go over again just pick out any stones that you come across guys otherwise when you go to run your scratch over your scar fire they might peel out and make a, a nasty we hope um, but yeah the whole idea is neither you put this on the easier it is scratched and the neater your top coat can go on then and uh, I want to just talk a wee bit about depths so if you're about 10 to 12 millimeters thick in general for block or whatever you will find that that's that's plenty enough to kill all the joints even without a scud coat will be plenty enough to kill all the joints but this coat here is probably maybe six mil plus the scud could be out there maybe three four mil in places as well so already the you know this is more or less enough to kill any joints and stuff the background of this is high suction red brick belfast brick there's also some old block in it as well but you do tend to find that there's not as much suction in the block and again another quick one was people used to ask all the time why do i not scud my my block walls well one most times when they're brand new fresh block they don't have any suction so if they do again it's just a matter of getting a hose or a bucket of water giving it a cup or a sprinkle depending on how quickly it's drying in and you're good to go and again scud coat is a key coat it's a stabilizing coat as well will help stabilize things that are a bit loose believe it or not but what it does is really it's you know it's 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 your main key it's your foundations you're building on and it's a great grip it's very 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 grippy and breeze block does not actually need a scud coat if it's proper breeze block i know there's multiple different types but the breeze block we use has plenty key in it and come this tip off job that just proves how good of a grip it has as anywhere that had block on took at least 80 percent maybe maybe even more maybe even 90 percent more effort to remove the satin cement render from it so you've seen hard boost in previous videos hard boost the walls were and that just goes to show why you don't actually need to scud coat it so another quick one is why do i use this scratcher one i like how close together they are and two it's I think it I think it's brilliant. 
it keeps nice and flat. Um, and the other question would have been, why do I not do wiggly, wiggly, squiggly lines? And now the the wiggly, squiggly lines are supposed to. People think it's to do with water. It's nothing to do with water. It's actually worse when it comes to trapping water. Um, because to me, if you scratch it with wiggly lines, you'll have fish, fish mouths, fish hooks, which will collect the water. Or if you do straight lines, the water's level and it can actually work its way out a lot easier than if you're making me cups everywhere. But yeah, again, the squiggly lines might be a wee bit more superior when it comes to cracks. Um, as you're slightly breaking the joint, but I don't think it's that much superior worth actually doing. But that's that's my call on that and my expertise on that. Um, but if that's what you do, um, good good for you. Keep on it. Um, but this is the way I like to go about it, and that's the reasons why. There's everything I do. I've thought about and there's reasons for it behind it so there we go if you enjoyed this one guys just keep watching more there's always 